It's a landmark day for India's space program, the Axiom 4 mission, which is being called as Mission Akash Ganga in India, has successfully lifted off into space. Aboard the rocket, Indian Air Force pilot Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla, along with three international crew members, blasted off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Now, they have embarked on a 28-hour journey to the International Space Station. With this, Shukla becomes only the second Indian to travel to space after Rakesh Sharma's historic mission with the Soviet Union in 1984. Now, as soon as the spacecraft got into orbit around Earth, Shukla shared a message with 1.4 billion Indians. He said this is not the start of just another space flight. It is the beginning of India's human space flight efforts. Namaskar. Namaskar. What a ride. We have reached the place of Santrish. It was a ride for Kamal. We have reached India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi said Group Captain Shukla carries the hopes and aspirations of 1.4 billion citizens into orbit. President Japati Murmu also hailed the launch as a milestone in India's space journey. Underlining the international nature of the mission, President Murmu said that it proves the world is indeed one family. In Shukla's native city of Lucknow, emotions ran high as his parents watched the launch from his former school. His mother, Asha Shukla, bro- broke into tears of joy and the family members embraced each other as the Vulcan 9 pierced the sky. In New Delhi, India's science minister witnessed the launch alongside envoys from Australia and Europe, calling it a tribute to Vikram Saravai and uh, Satyash Dawan's vision. The Indian Air Force called Shukla's space flight a symbol of India's rising horizons. It is indeed a vindication of the founding fathers of India's space program, Vikram Sarabhai, Satish Dhawan. And it was destined that this vindication of our founding fathers had to happen under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi. Today, India is no longer a follower. We are equal partners in all our collaborations. And I think it's borne out by the simple fact that of the four astronauts in the crew that has gone up, Subhanshu Shukla is possibly the most important because not only that he's a pilot, he's also going to perform seven crucial experiments. During his two-week stay at the International Space Station, Shukla will perform seven microgravity experiments integrated by NASA and ISRO. The mission had faced several launch delays since its original May 29th schedule, but today it is firmly on course and fully operational. And so the Axiom 4 mission is more than just a ride to the stars. It marks India's arrival in human spaceflight, not as a guest, but as a global stakeholder. From Rakesh Sharma to Shubhanshu Shukla, the dream is alive and launched The Indian flag held by Shukla now orbits above the earth, and so does the aspiration of the world's biggest democracy. Now, for more on this, we have with us Suresh Nayak, who is joining us live from Pune. He's the ex-group director of International Space Research Organization and chairman of the International Space Society. Thank you for being with us. Yeah. Actually... First of all, I now, how like... does uh, Group Captain Shukla's 
let me let me jump right in. How does Group Captain Shukla's mission reshape India's position in global human spaceflight, especially yeah. as a partner to agencies like NASA through the Axiom collaboration? Yeah, actually, it is not just a you know a, a hike on the other uh, spacecraft. It has got uh, much more importance. It is part of the India's integral part of the space program. And uh, from that point of view, if you look at it, you see, it is uh, actually the twofold, uh, there are uh, impacts. One is uh, uh, this, uh, we have come a long way in our own space program, and we are just on the cusp of taking undertaking our own human space mission. That is a very important thing after this. Yes. And the second thing is, uh, you know, actually uh, this particular thing uh, establishes uh, our credentials and uh, also it will increase our, you know, improve our image, boost our image as a, a spacefaring country and who have already started mm. their human space program. And uh, these two things will uh, uh, help India uh, to globally position. And uh, that will have an advantage because, you know, in the uh, whole global market, if you see the space market I'm talking about, that is um, about a huge uh, market. It is about $500 billion. And uh, by 2030, uh, it may double. Okay, presently, our share in that right. is just 2%. And... Uh, we want to have you know reach that to 10% by 2030 and in that direction also this particular yes. mission will uh, uh, help us tremendously okay so that way it will uh, help us to reshape our position right and what are the scientific implications of the seven microgravity experiments that Shukla will be conducting aboard the ISS. And uh, how critical are they for India's own Gangayan ambitions? Yeah, actually, uh, I will uh, touch upon two specific experiments. One is uh, the under the microgravity environment, how uh, the growth takes place of plants. You know, which uh, uh, we are looking uh, forward as a, a food for space, particularly uh, the moog, you know, and uh, methi. These two uh, seeds, we are, he is taking up there. And uh, we will watch how they grow there uh, because uh, the growth of the plant is different in the microgravity environment uh, as well, uh, I mean, uh, against uh, the, that on Earth, where the gravity is there. And uh, we want to experiment, uh, carry out that experiment. It is extremely important. And uh, we are also thinking about the same, uh, you know, sort of uh, crops for our sp uh, space food experiment. And uh, this will give an opportunity to Shibhanshu to uh, make initial observations. And that can be built into our own program that is one thing and second thing is you know in uh, space because of the microgravity what happens is actually we don't have to exert more energy to do things to do work and as a result uh, the uh, calcium in our bones uh, gets diminishing and that reduces uh, our bone strength and muscle strength so that is actually called muscle and bone degeneration. And this uh, is uh, yes. uh, particularly a problem for long duration journey to Mars, etc. And uh, also when you go to moon, there is only one sixth of gravity. So we are going to experiment what can be done mm. about this. And of course, uh, they uh, carry out exercises uh, every day, two hours on board ISS uh, and yes. special designed exercises because uh, there is no gravity. The machines also had to be special because uh, we can't use the same uh, treadmill what we use on the earth. 
So it has to be specially designed. So then it becomes effective. So all this thing is going on. But in addition to that, we are uh, actually experimenting what supplements can be really, you know, can help uh, to uh, retain our uh, muscle strength and bone strength. So that um, when the astronauts come back and after a particularly long stay in space, then uh, then uh, they you know they become weak and uh, they can't really carry out their activities for few days or few weeks and right. uh, then this thing. So uh, these kind of experiments are going to be extremely helpful and actually uh, already some part of it uh, has been carried out on uh, uh, Earth in uh, when they are yet to uh, take off because uh, they had to wait uh, for some time there. And uh, then now uh, they have got uh, that kind of uh, background material to compare. And that is going to help. So like this, there are uh, five more experiments that they are going to conduct. Yes. Mr. Nye, thank you very much for being with us on First Post Spotlight. Okay. Thank you very much for inviting me and giving me a project. First post now available in nine languages on YouTube. English. French. German. Hindi. Indonesian. Italian. Japanese. Portuguese. Spanish. Go to settings. Click on audio track and select the language of your choice. Be the first to know what's happening around you in your first language. First post.